Welcome to the Pro Wrestling Report Express for Tuesday, September 1. No. Whoa! <laughs> Don't do that. Apparently, I got to learn Spanish. Apparently, I just got back from the doctor and I still haven't gotten rid of the piggy flu. That you never had. That I never had. Uh, it's all about your emails today, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, coming off the heels of last night's ESPN radio show, if you haven't picked that up already, make sure you do so and subscribe on iTunes. iTunes. Where it's dropped to your pod automatically once the episodes are posted. And all then, of our episodes and are available. Then, on once iTunes. you turn it on, you can cut on the Pro Wrestling Report. You don't cut anything on, you cut things off. Well, I cut a lot of things off and then they asked me to cut it back on. Just like you can't, it's another Wisconsin thing, take it with. Mm -hmm. Or, um, well, anyways, who cares? John Funk, our first email of the day, <coughs> right, says the following. Do you think that Shawn Michaels will get the farewell send-off that Ric Flair did as he retires, when he retires? I think that anyone of Vince's roster that deserves that kind of farewell is Shawn Michaels. I think HBK's contribution to wrestling and to WWE is greater than that of Taker and Triple H, and to that of Ric Flair in regards to Vince's business. Your thoughts? My thoughts are that only if it's good for money and good for business all about the money. will the send-off be there. That's it. It's about business, folks. Um, I would differ with the opinion that he has contributed more than The Undertaker to WWE. I think they're pretty much, pretty much on similar pains, and The Undertaker's been pretty much a rock since he started yeah, in 1991. Uh, Undertaker never took his ball and went home. Undertaker never lost his dead smile. Uh, thank you very much for that email. Next one comes from Tyler Bowers, who says, I was wondering if you were planning on talking about indie promotions. I think it would be cool if you did because you're, because of your vast mainstream audience. Any exposure they could get would be good for the business itself. While I agree with you, Tyler, we do focus and talk about some of the independent organizations that come to the Milwaukee area, specifically Great Lakes Championship Wrestling, which is the premier independent wrestling organization. We have talked about Ring of Honor. It is. Uh, it's not we, really an indie there's event. been some in here. Uh, but uh, it's difficult to cover all the different areas of independent wrestling. However, if you run independent wrestling or want to get the word out about your particular show, uh, feel free to drop us an email at pwrshow.com, and we will try to fit in an opportunity to get we some information We just talked about some about Lucha Libre show that was on this Saturday down in uh, the Milwaukee area. That was last Friday on PWR Prime Time. Thank you very much for that email. Next one comes from William, who says, This is just probably stupid and will waste your time, no. just like he does every week. That's not true. I am entertaining to 66.66666% of the population. But I just love the Seinfeld references you guys make on the show. It's just classic. It's my favorite show, and I'm willing to say it's the best show ever made. After that, after that is the PWR show. I also admire the professional approach you do each day on Express. Thank you very much for that email. Has he really been William, watching Express? You know what it I was, doesn't feel that professional to me. Man. You know what I was thinking about yes, is uh, Seinfeld went off the air 11 years ago. And it's still relevant to everybody but David Octavius. Every Zero. function of life, every faction of your life, every piece of your life, in my opinion, you can relate to a Seinfeld episode. And Curb now, if you're still watching Curb. Don't. Neil. You're missing out. Neil sends this in. Since Don West took over merchandise for TNA, are we going to see some good products for wrestlers? Plus, do you think we'll see some in-depth DVDs on the wrestlers in TNA? I think we should, and I don't think... Oh, well, we already West, have. Jeff Jarrett, Kurt we, Angle. I don't think we will see it just because of Don West. Well, he's going to play a significant role. He's going to be in charge. It's going to be the HWIC. <laughs> the head West in charge. It took a second. I was adding it up in my head. Twitter. Um, I think we will see some, some products and merchandise come out, but the most important thing is the presentation of that merchandise and the basically the push they're going to get. What we've talked well. about with Dave Hero and Frank Costantino as well is the fact that wrestlers should be wearing their gimmicks to the ring. Right. Presenting it to the fans. Right. How do most wrestling fans who don't go to the internet know about the merchandise? Right. That's what Don West is hopefully going to take care of. Uh, Jay, Jay, Lethal. Jay Lethal. He sent us a YouTube message. Jalessa79 sent this via YouTube in reference to our uh, coverage of the Kurt Angle situation. I don't accept your cowardly excuse about Benoit. He killed a child, a woman. If you are incapable, if you are incapable of interrupting each other and acting like children, maybe you should stay away from adult crimes. Live it. Hmm. Um... 
I, I don't know how to respond to that, and I don't know if we should. I'm not but sure what, we will. Said, what he said. Well, it's a girl. Uh, we will. Um, one comment was made that the Kurt Angle situation with uh, Raka Khan, uh, Trinisha, Trinisha Biggers, Biggers uh, was related to and was explained as Benoit Part 2. Can I just start calling Trinisha Amorosa? Are there striking similarities there? No, because Amorosa actually is appealing. Except to everybody, except for Dave Hero. Dave Hero's got to think for Raka Khan. Um, hmm. The thing is that That's Dave mentioned it. Dave, me Dave mentioned that publicity-wise, news media outlet reporting-wise, were the similarities. That's it. Chris sends this in. Right now, I think WWE has better product than TNA. Both Raw and SmackDown have greatly improved, especially SmackDown. My question is, would you agree that the women's division is useless? The only time I watch uh, which, it... Uh, which program? Which brand? Which company? As I finish reading this email, it will become apparent. Thank you. I apologize. My question is, would you agree that the women's division is useless? The only time I watch is when I hear the words bikini or lingerie. Which also, have been did you send this? Also, my other question is, the legacy tag team storyline, I think, has lost direction like the women's division has become pointless. Cody Rhodes has become a joke. He has no talent and is only holding Ted DiBiase, who is stalent, stalent, stalent who has talent, it's a misspelling there. Back. When will they end the storyline and push Ted DiBiase in singles competition? Um, just by your comments, apparently you haven't really been paying attention to the Well, the comments were a bit contradictory as well. Yes. Um, contradictive. Contradictive in nature. Um, Cody Rhodes obviously has some sort of talent, more than you, me, and you, because Cody Rhodes is in the WWE. Now, granted, he he's, has lineage. He's not a no talent, nor is he an ASCO. He's got lineage. But he wouldn't be there if he didn't have talent, Eric Watts. And let's not forget, uh, Cody spent a great amount of time in OVW uh, before coming up to WWE, so he has uh, traveled down that road. Every man and woman that is performing in the WWE has talent. Here is why Ted DiBiase may become a standout performer in that group, in that team. The Marine 2. Quite possibly. They're going to have to push him to get him out there to get more people to buy the DVD. It's all business. Not necessarily. Mr. Anderson would make the differ. Next one comes from... Mr. Anderson. Um, Chris from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Hey, guys. Love the show. I was just wondering what you guys thought about Kurt Angle possibly leaving pro wrestling for the UFC. I don't uh, Kurt Angle. going to happen. Kurt Angle The last big experiment will tell the story. Yeah. yeah, he's wanted to. And he's mentioned it. Told us on, our, on this very... Program that it, he would like to get a little mixed into it. I mean, you know, Victoria, excuse me, Tara, uh, I believe is going to try to do a little sum as well. We'll see. And uh, Chris, I do remember meeting you at WrestleMania 25 in the beer line. Hmm. A couple of questions. What kind here. of beer were you drinking? Me? Uh, hopefully Miller Products. It was Hute in Texas. Right. Hmm. Uh, a couple of questions from a uh, YouTube user as well. Uh, what do you think about TNA's knockout division now that it's got all this new talent? I'm happy, again, because they're pushing more. But why is Cody Deaner knocked up champion? Knockouts. Knocked up. Like, I'd like to knock you the out. There's no hate here. Thank you for those emails, uh, and also thank you for tuning in to the Pro Wrestling Report on 540 ESPN last night, including our live stream video. We uh, did it live! <laughs> video <laughs> available each week now during PWR Prime. My uh, mom says I'm, I'm special. Sorry, PWR, hey, uh, radio. My mom says I'm special. Clearer words have never been spoken. Thank you for also tuning in to this we edition of PWR Express. Express. We'll be back with a brand now. new... This is up, PWR Express tomorrow, right here on this site. For the man they call me Dead the Cause and Dave Hero, this is Damian Nelson saying so long, everyone.